CAG Knowledge Augmented Generation Next Evolution in Professional Domain AI And this is much better than traditional RAG and Graph RAG Transform your domain knowledge AI that truly understands your field Real-time knowledge integration and professional grade accuracy Imagine waking up tomorrow Complex queries answered with precision Knowledge automatically stays current Insights discovered across your data A revolutionary framework This isn't just another RAG system Professional grade domain intelligence and be an early adopter for the next gen technology. Previously, fragmented knowledge sources in regards to RAG, limited reasoning capability, high error rates in complex queries. But with knowledge augmented generation, we have unified knowledge framework, enhanced logical reasoning, and professional grade accuracy. One integration, multiple benefits. Includes knowledge integration, logical reasoning, and professional results. Implementation with three simple steps. Define domain knowledge, connect data sources, and deploy CAG framework. Here is the research paper, boosting LLMs in professional domains via knowledge augmented generation. And this CAG clearly beats HippoRag, native rag in HotPot QA benchmark, Wikihop QA benchmark, and Music benchmark. This is really nice. In this, we'll be seeing about what is knowledge augmented generation, how it's better than graph rag and how to run this and integrate this in your own application. So what is CAG? Knowledge augmented generation combines open information extraction, then knowledge graphs, advanced multi-hop reasoning, all these things packed together. For technical architecture, it includes index construction with open IE integration, semantic graph building and graph alignment. Generally for a rag, it requires two steps. One is indexing, another one is querying. So this is a traditional RAG where when you add your custom data, it will get stored to vector database. That is indexing. So when the user asks a question, it's able to retrieve relevant information and able to answer questions correctly. Without a RAG, your AI chatbot is not able to answer correctly for your custom company data. So with RAG, it can get domain specific data. But the issue here is sometimes it hallucinates because sometimes the retrieved data doesn't have relevant information because this uses semantic search. So how this translates to CAG? So the first step, index construction. That's what's happening here. Input documents, semantic chunking, then information extraction, then alignment, and finally domain specific knowledge graph. That is more advanced level than a normal graph rack. So the second step for traditional rack is querying. So how this translates to CAG? This question answering includes logical, simple guided reasoning, hybrid retrieval system, and document fallback strategy. That is querying here. So this includes retrieval and reasoning, LLM reasoning and knowledge graph reasoning. That includes planning, symbolic representation, generation, alignment with knowledge graph feedback. All this together resulting in a high accurate answer. So this is the whole CAC framework. Now you know how CAC framework is more advanced compared to a traditional RAG. Two more things I want to show you from the paper. One is how it's being indexed. We saw about this indexing mechanism. When we see in more detail, this is what happens. So each supporting chunk will have all these entities extracted and they link with each other as a knowledge graph. So the practical application, it's successfully deployed in e-government Q&A e-health services, complex multi-hop queries, and professional domain services. Even you could include this CAG framework in many of your domain-specific industry. Why choose CAG? Advanced logical reasoning, hybrid knowledge integration, professional domain expertise, and open source community support. I'm going to take you through step-by-step -step on how to run this CAG. Let's get started. Thanks to OpenSPG for sponsoring this video. In the repo it gives clear instruction on the list of steps to follow so first step i'm going to download this docker compose so as a basic requirement you need to download docker on your computer so once after you download and install i'm going to enter this command and click enter i'll provide all the code in the description below so even if you're an absolute beginner you should be able to get started straight away so after this i'm just clicking enter now the file got downloaded so i can just open docker compose.yaml and here is the file, but we are not going to modify any of this. Just coming back to our terminal, just typing docker compose up hyphen D and then click enter. 
this will automatically start running this three applications. One is MySQL, the Neo4j and the server. To double check if it's working fine, just type docker ps and then click enter. Now you can see everything is working fine. And as the name suggests, this is the server. So we are going to open this URL, just copying the URL. You can even replace this 00 with localhost. I've just opened that on my browser. So first it involves two different steps. One is indexing and then querying. So now we are going to do indexing, which means adding our custom data and then saving that in the vector database. I'm just showing you the basic rag, that is traditional rag, just for making you understand. But in reality, we are doing this indexing because that is the CAG framework. So now I'm going to upload documents and that will index and store the data in the database, extracting all the relationships between entities. So here you can see create knowledge base, clicking on that. So adding the file storage configuration like this and the model configuration. We are going to use DeepSeek chat model and here I'm adding the API key. Also for vectorization, we'll be using nomic embed text using Olama. So I'm putting the endpoint for Olama like this and everything as default and clicking OK. You also need to go to olama.com and download Olama. Then in your terminal, Olama pull nomic embed text to download the embedding model. That's it. Now after that, you can click knowledge management and open it. Here I have already uploaded a few documents, but to upload a document and index it, just click on create task. There you're going to enter a name, let's say document, a local file. You need to upload a file, clicking next step. I'm going to keep everything default. Here I'm mentioning maximum segment length, then next step, then extraction configuration, default, and clicking finish. This will automatically go through step by step of extracting entities and indexing the data, storing that in the vector database. That is step number one completed. Next step number two, querying or asking questions from the user perspective to the AI or the large language model. But in regards to CAG, we are going to perform this. You can also see the indexing process by clicking the log here. And you can see the step-by-step -step process. So coming to our homepage and the knowledge base list, I'm going to click knowledge base Q&A, clicking on that. Now I can ask any questions. What is KAG? Because I uploaded that research paper. And after that, I'm going to click send. Now you can see the reasoning process that is listed here. So step-by-step -step reasoning is going and searching the entities. So let's see the first step. So it's using what is CAG and searching. Next, it's using SPO retriever with logic form expression. And third, just clicking on this, it's a response from the large language model. And finally, we got the answer here. That is brilliant. So before doing indexing, I asked the same question, CAG, and it was not able to answer me correctly. Uploading another research document called Mint QA, and I'm going to ask, questions from this and it looks more complicated. Just asking how Mint QA was built. Clicking send. I already uploaded the document and indexed it. And you can see step-by-step -step process. First, based on my question, it rewrote the query and also query decomposition. Then after that, each query is run, retrieving relevant information using SPO retriever. Then after collecting all information, I've got the final answer here after reasoning. Mint QA was built through a systematic process of gathering knowledge triplets from English Wikidata. So this information, you can also find that in the paper. Mint QA, knowledge triplets from English Wikidata. One of the key difference which I see here is the logical and reasoning steps to get the final accurate answer. If you want to integrate this in your own application, it's very easy to get started. Just git clone this URL then you can navigate to that folder and install all the required files. Then on this page, you got step-by-step -step instruction on how you can integrate and configure within your own AI application. The current version is only basic and it's only going to get better from here. If you have any question, you should be able to reach them out and do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. And I'm really excited about this. Considering you already like about this knowledge augmented generation, I also create videos in regards to AI, which I'll put the link in here. And I highly recommend for you to watch explaining about the latest AI news. And I will see you there.